Jeffrey's parents, Sandy and Doris Slavin, are very giving people who have always been involved in making their community better. And I think Jeffrey grew up in this environment and it sparked uh, a desire within him to continue that legacy in his own way. Jeffrey pays attention to both his traditions of his family and to their moral ethics of giving to others. And that, again, to share that with the community and to encourage others to do so is a gift. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Jeffrey and Sanford and Doris have always in their entire lives decided to stand in a way that they stand for right over wrong, good over evil, blessing over curse, and compassion over power. Um, and I don't understate that in any way. They don't do it by words, they do it by action. They do it every day of their lives. The needs in Montgomery County have changed so dramatically over the last 15 years, and Jeffrey has been there. The community has changed, demographics has changed, the school system has changed, the whole community. And Jeffrey has seen those needs and he has given. He has given from his heart, he has given his money, he has given his time, his intellect, his spirit of love and community, and he is just wonderful. As a fellow philanthropist, I shared with Jeffrey um, a very sincere and heartfelt concern for taking the next step that needed to be taken to support the nonprofit sector in the county. He inspired me to join the founding board, which he chaired, which established and launched the nonprofit village. He has a way of taking little things and making them big and then making big things seem extraordinary. So every day I really think about how I can use that model of staying connected to other people uh, just by looking at his example. And he's a leader. He's a natural leader in a very subtle way. And that subtle way is he brings people to the table and he lets them participate in their own way. Jeffrey um, has a great way of um, deploying his charisma and his charm to motivate people. You hear about Jeffrey before you meet him. I moved to Montgomery County about a year ago and nearly every person that I met said, have you met Jeffrey? Oh, you must meet Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. And I started to wonder who is Jeffrey? Because I started to think, is he kind of like Oprah of Montgomery County? Everybody should know Jeffrey. He's so cool. He's so great. He is just a wonderful friend and a good man. I personally want to congratulate uh, both um, Sanford and Doris on raising a next generation that knows to do the right thing, that knows to walk humbly with their God in a way that makes a profound difference in the world for all of us. Um, I want to congratulate Jeffrey, uh, not for the achievement of receiving this award as philanthropist, uh, but for all the days that precede it that are being recognized in this moment. And more importantly, for all the days that will follow it and all the souls he'll inspire by his example. Jeffrey, thank you. Congratulations on this incredible award. And uh, thank you for coming uh, to the compassion that you do from the family that you do in the way that you do. On behalf of the entire Community Foundation, it's a pleasure and an honor to congratulate Jeffrey on being the philanthropist of the year. Jeffrey, you walk the walk, you talk the talk, you set an example for us all, and you inspire us, and we are truly happy to share uh, with you in this very, very wonderful occasion. Congratulations, you deserve it, and we all love you.